What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to check out the little bit of gameplay we got on the 1.2.0 update. It shows what in my opinion is a very different PvP from what we're used to with Destiny 2. This mini 1.2.0 preview shows some sniper rifle gameplay which we can see has had many many changes from the sandbox team to try and make sniper a little more well useful because let's face it ever since snipers got put into the power weapon slot they have basically become utterly useless changes were definitely needed to make them more of a viable weapon I mean rockets are the go-to power weapon yes you see a few people using shotguns and a few colonies here and there but for the most part it's all rockets this system of two primaries is one of the two things which people were still not happy with even after last week's TWAB which showed many of the sandbox changes coming but we will talk a little more about that later so the sandbox changes were mostly covered yesterday via the weekly update by Bungie I won't go through them all as I did that the day before yesterday and if you missed that I will link it within the video description but there's so many changes it was unreal but firstly let's analyse this gameplay this is PlayStation footage by the way and I'm also sorry about the quality. Now when I first saw this I actually thought it was PC footage because when you initially see PC gameplay it looks way more fluid and fast paced and that's what I got from seeing this. You can see the difference in the default increased movement speed and it's quite surprising for sure of how quick it does look. Also remember guys PvP will be available in 6v6 too so at this speed paired with 6v6 it's going to be quite hectic on smaller maps but I think this will be more fun for sure. So we see gameplay from the sniper obviously the person using it isn't a noob but the difference is unreal. The changes made to snipers are as follows, increased PvE damage for all snipers, increased precision multiplier, increased aim assist and increased inventory size allowing for more reserve ammo to be stored. The aim assist here though you can see taking effect, I mean this dude rarely misses a headshot, it just looks way more easy than what it was, it actually reminds me of how it was in Destiny 1. So I think this is great, PvP in Destiny 1 when it was at its best was like this, snipers were fun to use, so were shotguns and so were most other weapons. Weapons in Destiny 2's PvP in its current state are all boring to use, I mean you got the UU's Gift, the Origin Story, the Last Hope, the Mylar Multi Tool and that's about it. No one ventures out to other weapons or rarely they do anyway and that's because you don't need to. Destiny 1's PvP there are so many other weapons you could use which were fun to use. There are so many more viable weapons to use where you had the opportunity like snipers and shotguns. That just isn't the case in Destiny 2. Another thing you can see here is the power ammo bricks dropping from enemies who have just recently been killed which is another new feature to this 1.2.0 update. Also the fact that power ammo were also spawning much quicker into maps. Power ammo respawn timers were adjusted across the board. Power ammo respawn timers in Iron Banner have been reduced by 50%. In quick play modes it's been reduced by 30%. In survival it's been dropped by 40% and in countdown it's been dropped by 25%. So at this rate, the new rate of power ammo and the way it will spawn in, it's going to be crazy. But it brings power weapons more into the game, which is what is missing at the moment. Especially the buffs they have done to other power weapons. We should see more shotguns, we should see more snipers, we should see more grenade launchers, which have also received their buff, and so forth. And this brings me back to the remaining issues people are having with the game after many of these epic changes from the sandbox team have been made into the game. People are still not happy and say they won't ever be happy until the old weapon layout returns, a primary, a secondary and a heavy. I can almost guarantee you that that won't ever happen. The game is built on an old crappy engine and certain changes take several months to implement as we all know. Changing the entire weapon system is something that is just way too much work. But you can see with the changes being made in the 1.2.0 update that Bungie are trying to bring power weapons more so into the game and I believe we will see more of them come with this update. Yes it won't ever be as good as the old system in the eyes of many but me personally I actually don't feel it's that bad as it is and with the crucible power ammo changes and the buffs coming to most power weapons I feel we will see much more of said items but remember also we have many other changes coming across the board to speed things up to get the pace of the game to one of a little more excitement. Ability cooldowns, respawn timers, ammo timers and so forth. I think this will be great in the end. For me though PvP the way it is at the moment isn't too bad but there's just nothing to play for. In May we get a big update along with a new DLC and ranks to chasing crucible. This I am super looking forward to because as much as I do love the look of this speeded up PvP I still feel without much to chase people will get bored pretty quick. That's why I can't wait until May when more things come for us to chase. It should be decent times. The question I still have is though is this enough to save the game? 
As much as I'd love to say that is the case, I ain't sure it is. Many, many people, big streamers, big content creators, a lot of the community are saying that this is not enough, but only time will tell. But what do you think? Let me know down below within that comment section. Also, let me know what you think about this speeded up 1.2.0 PvP gameplay. Do you think it looks better? Let me know. But thanks as always for stopping by, people, and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.